it's two what's and a wow! With your hosts, Mindy and Guy Ross! Two what's, 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 and a wow! Hello, wowzers, and welcome to Two What's in a Wow! Two what's in a wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what? The category for today is animals. Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants about how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about animals. But... This is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congrats, you get a point. But if you guess wrong, you have to stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone, ready to start the game? Great, let's do it. Round one. Which of the following statements about animals is a true scientific wow? Is it A, blobfish have four stomachs that help break down their food faster? Or is it B, adult earthworms have 10 tiny legs that help them to dig deeper in the dirt? Or is it C? Lemurs have two tongues, one for cleaning and one for eating. When you have the answer, spin around three times and say it backwards. (laughs) Reggie, cue the thinking music. (laughs) And time is up. Time to reveal the winning wow. (laughs) And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Benson from California. Benson, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that lemurs have two tongues, one for cleaning themselves, one for eating insects. Winner, winner, lemur laughs and chips for dinner. Thank you, Benson. Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, that lemurs have two tongues, one for cleaning and one for eating, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right. Their first tongue works just like ours to help them eat. And lemurs use their second tongue to help them remove hair from a group of teeth known as the tooth comb, which they use to clean their fur. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, and scream, I'm a potato, not a tomato, to the closest person to you. (laughs) Aw, man! I'm a potato, not a tomato. (laughs) Reggie, no, I'm only going to say it once. What in the... Dennis! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. (sighs) Round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, crocodiles eat rocks to help with digestion and to stay underwater? Or is it B, Dumbo octopuses use their big floppy ears to help them fly out of the water to catch low flying birds? Or is it C, the tiny Christmas tree worm lives underwater and can catch prey as big as a dolphin? When you think you have the right answer, whisper it into your own ears. Hey, Reggie, (laughs) cue the thinking music. And to reveal the winning wow, it's Zora from Massachusetts. Zora, what's the wow? My wow is that crocodiles eat rocks. A belly full of stones helps them to digest food and stay underwater. Winner, winner, rocks and rocks for dinner! 
Thank you, Zora. Contestants, if you guess the answer A, that crocodiles eat rocks to help with digestion and to stay underwater, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right. By swallowing stones, crocodiles can crush up all that food they take into their stomachs, and the stones also add the weight they need to help them stay underwater. Amazing! Now, if you did not get the answer correct, you must stop, drop, find the nearest plant, and whisper scream, photosynthesis, into its ears. <laughs> and with that, we'd like to thank one of our sponsors for today's show. Today's show is sponsored by Antique Pterosaur Tunes, a fragrant blast from the past. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, moving on to round three, which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, axolotls can regrow limbs and even parts of their brains? Or is it B, pink fairy armadillos can grow a fifth limb to help them climb trees and hunt? Or is it C, Thorny dragons grow roses on their backs to camouflage themselves in bushes. When you think you have the correct answer, shout it out in your own made-up language. Reggie, cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. Please welcome by phone, Dominic from Washington, D.C. Dominic, tell us, what's the winning wow? My wow in the world is that axolotls can regrow limbs and even parts of their brain. Winner, winner, brains for dinner! Thank you, Dominic. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that axolotls can regrow limbs and even parts of their brains, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. That's right. When axolotls lose a limb, they can put a special kind of skin on that wound that will help them to sprout a new body part. Now, if you did not get the answer correct, Jump up and down with your hands in the air and shout, My name is Celery! <gasps> oh, now's my chance! <clears throat> my name is Celery! My name is Celery! <sighs> my name is Celery! My name is... Dennis! Oh, Dennis, you're supposed to be backstage! Ah, uh, my name's not Dennis. It's Celery. <sighs> Reggie, get him off the stage! <laughs> Reggie! <laughs> That sound can mean only one thing, Guy Raz. It's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, if pizzas are round, why are their boxes square? I've always thought they should be triangles myself. Equilateral, obviously. Obviously. Congratulations to all of our winning wowzers on today's show. All of our contestants will be taking home a fabulous invisible prize. Invisible prize? Yeah, all of the visible ones were taken. Okay. Reggie? <laughs> it's time to roll out the prize generator. <laughs> I invented this machine to generate a fabulous parting gift for all of the contestants on today's show. <laughs> this machine is special because it spits out your prize in three different parts every time. <laughs> and also, it's broken. Indy! <laughs> <laughs> We're still improving on the engineering design process. Oh, yeah, that too. But feel free to mix and match and put the prize together any way you want. Reggie, power this puppy up in three, two, one. All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own invisible sloppy vegan meatball. Ah, Indy, I, I... Indy, 
kids shooting sloppy meatballs into the audience. Uh, can't we give them something else? Uh, this is a mess. The prize machine has spoken, Guy Raz. Well, uh, that's just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little steam-themed challenge for you. We call it Operation Give me a hand. Yep, design a machine run entirely on helping hands. What would it look like? How would it work? What could it do? Design it on paper or build your own model of this machine using supplies you have at home. And don't forget to take a photo or video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World. And again Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on wowing. <laughs>